Hey, what's up, BFL fam? I'm Carlos, and welcome back, E, what's back up, to guys? Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. It's been a minute. How are you? I'm good, brother. How you doing? I'm doing awesome. So great to see you. Good to see you, too. Hope everything's well in your life. Everything is awesome. Hunky dory. <laughs> he was very nice enough to bring over the new Terry Mugler. Mm-hmm. Mugler? Mugler. Mugler? Mugler. Okay. Terry Mugler Rainbow <laughs> Collection, and we're going to talk about it. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Brooklyn Fragrance Lover So again, so happy to see you. For sure, man. What's up? Looking great, nice and thin, my neck, and uh, my neck hurts. I can't move it. Why? Woke up this morning with a crick. You know that is that the worst. The like happy. when you have a stiff neck, the rest of your day just sucks. Yeah, like, I, I literally look paralyzed. I'm like this. All day. <laughs> like you can't turn your head. No, I'm like uh, <laughs> the worst. Very much so. So I peeped your video on the new Rainbow Collection. Yes. Which I've been dying to try. And uh, you were kind enough to bring the ones that you purchased over and reviewed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. over to my place so we can go over it for BFL subscribers. For sure. So what do you get overall from these? Um, so I find that it's a lot more unisex than I was expecting. Okay. So like the Mugler Cologne was, um, I guess, a unisex fragrance. But this one right always, here? Yeah. But it's always like, I guess, focused towards men because of its better with content, mm -hmm. you know? But because I guess it's like a really clean fragrance, there is no gender specific, you know, role to the scent. But I don't know. I always looked at it as a masculine fragrance. So I was kind of surprised when this line went more on the femme side okay. than what I was expecting. So the OG Mugler Cologne mm -hmm. was known as the ultimate soapy fragrance for men and women. It yep. came out in 2001. Everybody loved it. Yes. Very I actually lovely. owned the bottle. I went through half. I liked it. It was enjoyable. It was composed by Alberto Morillas, mm -hmm. but it wasn't my favorite fragrance, but okay. it was definitely an iconic soapy fragrance for sure. I went through like at least two, 3.3 ounce bottles. They had like the Jagunda bottle, right? Yeah, they had the 10 <laughs> ounce, the 10 ounce. I was like, whoa. And I, you know what? I wanted to buy it, but then I bought it after the refill. I, I wanted to buy it, but then the bottles available were the post formulation fragrances of it. So I was like, Wah. As much as I love perfumery and all this stuff, I really hate all that reformulation nonsense. Ooh, it really gets yeah, to me like... I do too. It's very annoying and to keep up with when it actually was or if it wasn't or if it's a rumor or not, mm -hmm. it's mad annoying in mm -hmm. my opinion. Mm -hmm. But, so, Terry Mugler. Mugler? Mugler. 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 <laughs> well, you'll see a bunch of Terry Mugler Mugler videos on BFL. <laughs> this guy has corrected me and for tonight Mugler. we're going with... Terry Mugler, Mugler has released the Rainbow Collection. There are five fragrances in all. There is Love You All, Fly Away, Take Me Out, Run Free, and Come Together, which is a new interpretation of the original, mm -hmm. but we don't have that one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I decided I wanted to wait on that and actually do a comparative with the original in a separate video, so. Cool, I hear you. We all have our methods to our yes, madness. We all have our methods. Whatever works, right? <laughs> so, what do you think? Should we spray them, or you? We already sprayed them and smelled those. What do you think? Yeah, I think that would work. Let's smell the cards, and okay. then the ones that you find that you appreciate, put them on skin and see how it goes. All right, cool. So we're gonna start with "Love You All." Okay. The light blue one. What do you get from that? <laughs> It smells a little flat to me, not okay. overly exciting or something that I would be like, whoa! Um, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But perhaps the initial blast might work better, but yeah. on the dry down strip for me, it's it's all right. I wasn't a fan. You wasn't? Not at all. I, th I find it, like, I find it very boring. Um, very, very, very boring, you know. All right, cool. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I do trust your opinion, my friend. <laughs> I'm smelling now the dry down of Fly Away. 
Love You All had blue licorice and white amber. This is Fly Away with yellow grapefruit and hemp. hemp. Some weed action going yes, on? a little bit of that. Sure. I get from this a citrus, nice, bright, and it mm -hmm. pops off this paper really nice yeah. with a little bit of a green note that yes. is kind of weedy in a good way. Mm -hmm. So this for me jumps much more at my whatever excites yeah, the I nose. Find, I find that this one is a little bit more present also in terms of like strength. On my and side. why they chose yellow for uh, hemp, but whatever. Right. <laughs> well, I guess green was taken, so. so. <laughs> I mean, come together. Yeah, yeah. Like, come <laughs> together. Uh, yeah, like I, I don't know if like, I don't smell like, so like when like if you've ever smelled weed being smoked by someone like as you're walking down the street or something. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I smell weed yeah. walking through the hallways of my exactly. building. <laughs> so if you smell that cannabis smell from actual smoke, it doesn't smell anything like what usually you'll find in fragrances. It's almost like, um, and it's almost like an expression of what they imagine cannabis to smell like. Like but an accord. It maybe? doesn't remind me of. It doesn't remind me of weed in any form, from its actual like bud to its smoke. I form. love. I used to love anyway the smell of yeah. weed in a baggie. Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a really nice scent. I think, especially depending on the grade and depending on the. The type, it could be very, very, very nice. Ganja, hydroponic. Oh, much no! Be, much better unsmoked, though. <laughs> like, unsmoked, way better than smoked, in my opinion. But. All right, cool. <laughs> Gotta move on to the next one. Yeah, my... <laughs> so, a little weedology in the mix of my BFL review here with uh, Simply Put Sense. Next up, oopsie, sorry. We have Take Me Out, right? Yes. Orange Blossom and Shiso Leaf. Mm-hmm. This smells a little feminino. Very much so. But I love orange blossom. I really, really do. Yeah. I and um, I do, I do like that. Yeah, the orange blossom is very natural smelling. Like it literally smells like I'm smelling the flower. You know, it's very, very natural. This smells nice. I wouldn't say I wouldn't wear this, but it, it definitely leans a little more feminine. Yes. You know, but orange agree. blossom is one of my personal favorite notes. I would agree. A little more pop then this one still this one had way more pop than number one fly away was great love you all was kind of like more, more. and uh, yeah and take me out is nice but a little feminine, feminine girly type mm -hmm. vibe and lastly we have run free which has some purple ginger and akigawa wood so this is probably the most synthetic of the four in my opinion well, Akigala wood is a synthetic compound yes, it is. made by, I believe, Roberte. Within the last year and a half, I have come across fragrances that have had the note of Akigala wood. And I remember when I first came across it, I was like, what the hell is Akigala wood? Mm -hmm. but Akigala wood, I first smelled it in Miu Miu, which is like a fragrance for women by, well, Miu Miu Prada. I first smelled it Misha. in Azaro Pure White. Okay. Came out in the beginning of either this year or last year. Yeah. But that's where I first smelled it, and okay. it was a nice synthetic note. Mm -hmm. Yes, smells synthetic, but I kind of like it. No, I don't think it's a. I don't think this synthetic has a, in a bad way. This has a, like a you know kind of like if you like patchouli and a, mm -hmm. a little bit of woodsy kind of presence. It's this, definitely woodsy. It smells nice to it me. It does. I mean, smell this again. Like, it almost smells dewy also, like, almost like rain. Like, I would wear this in the rain or on a cloudy day. It would work really well. I'm going to spread them all on skin yeah. and see what's up. This is on this hand. Love you all. One, two. And by the way, these are meant to be layered yes. and mixed and matched and so whatever, yeah, so whatever. Some fragrances that you might not initially like, you might find that it combines pretty well with another scent and maybe that'll make it much more likable, if that makes any sense. These run about 80 bucks for 100 ml bottle? 80 bucks a piece for 100 ml. Oh. <laughs> I just like that one. It's I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay. We'll see. Now we got this one, which is Take Me Out, Orange Blossom, the one you find very too feminine for your personal taste. I mean, I'll wear it in the house or with something, but I wouldn't wear it. Or maybe with a little molecular one to yes, uh, man it up a sure, little bit. for sure. That'll, that would definitely work. Some ISO-E would definitely work. 
And I love purple is my favorite color. And uh, run free, run free, everyone. They maintain the same bottles and the same sprayers as the original. Sprayers are insane. Like, you can feel the pressure of the juice when they leave them. <laughs> These are sprayed on my hand, mm -hmm. and you smell them on me, mm -hmm. and your opinion of how they smelled on you are not too different of how they smell on me, not except for different. possibly this one. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. Um, this one, I don't agree with you. <clears throat> Mr. E, simply put, sense, finds this animalic. I do. I don't well, find it animalic. Is. I find it a very nice, realistic Grapefruit with a weed component. It's kind of citrus and green mm -hmm. and nice. Mm -hmm. I don't find it animalic. I would spray the shit out of that one <laughs> on my skin if I owned the bottle. This one fell flat, flatter than it did on paper. I do not like Love You All. Mm -hmm. I love you all, but I don't love Love You All. Yeah, it's very, very, very. Fly cool. Away, I love. Take Me Out is here. Mm -hmm. Very natural, very natural. Like it literally smells like you have an orange tree right in front of you with orange blossoms just blooming. You got your nose in front of it. Like it's very, very natural. And kind sir, I have to disagree with you, bro. It doesn't smell so feminine on my skin. Not on you. On you it smelled? It smelled a lot more feminine on me than it did on you. I'm not as hairy though, so. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Carl's BFL has hairy arms. Yeah, that's Gorilla Man. That, I think that helps. I think that definitely... It does. It does. Because when I... Spray, <laughs> I got to cut. Hold on. Not as feminine in the man hairs on me. Nope. He, he has uh, lady arms. He has no hairs. Yeah. Very, <laughs> he has smooth arms. Hair, yeah. And uh, this one... I don't personally love the uh, Run Free. Okay. And you kind of like it. A little better. I do. And I like it because I find it different and unique and it's interesting. Like the Akigala wood, I really do think it's awesome. Like to me, it's a great like cloudy day fragrance, you know, or fragrant note, I should say. I can't say I, I dislike. The only one really that I dislike right. is this one. Mm -hmm. uh, the other three are wearable mm -hmm. and definitely something that I would reach for if I own them. Right. But for me, clearly number one out of all of these is Fly Away. Fly Away. <laughs> blew me away. Fly away is a shiznit. <laughs> Fly away blew me away. I find it really, really cool. Um, I like the fact that on my skin, it's a little bit more on the uh, on the skanky side. Like, um, I get it on you too a little bit. It's it's in the back. It's not well. Skanky. Whatever skanky you smell, I like the skanky. It's it smells not, good. It's not and well skanky in a not. I don't mean skanky like in a ooty way, but it's definitely not. In the bo way. Uh, no. I took a shower this morning. No, 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 I wore no, no. Not in a B O way. <laughs> not in a B O way. It's just kind of like on the. It's kind of like good funk, if that makes any sense. Well, I think like your typically well groomed crowd who doesn't like the smell of weed and things would find that smell skanky. And then there's something called skunk wood, so maybe it smells mm. skunky and mm -hmm. not skanky. I kind of look at them as the same word. Okay, yeah. so I mean, I'm digging skunky. the citrus weed vibe going on yeah, it's really on nice. Fly Away. That's my favorite for sure, for sure, Mine for sure. Too, for sure. Got good taste, brother. That's you what I think. Eh? <laughs> Not so short and sweet, but another review here at BFL with Imitsu from Simply Put Sense. Yes, yes. Thanks to the kindness of this good man here, we're going to offer a vial sample of 1234, the new rainbow collection from Terry Mugler. Mugler. To one lucky subscriber, this one is US only. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, subscribe to Simply Put Sense, like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you miss notifications on new reviews, new content giveaways. Buddies, beautiful ladies, and all the fragrance fun always have me. You know where it's at, right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you at the next review. Peace, dude.